Hello, my beautiful Virgos. We are moving on to your June 2024 love reading. We're going to start with the Virgo singles, couples, it's complicated, and then the all signs mini readings. Now, remember, this is not going to resonate with every single Virgo. Please check out your sun, moon, Venus, or rising. And then if my readings resonate, that just means my particular cards don't have a message for you this month. You can check out one of our wonderful many YouTube tarot readers here on YouTube. I believe we should all support one another. But hopefully one of my readings do resonate with you. And if it does, I would appreciate a like, share, and subscribe. I've already pre-shuffled the cards. And we're going to go ahead and get started with my Virgo singles. What is the hidden message for my Virgo singles? What is the hidden truth? message for my Virgo singles. You and I were too young. Interesting. Messages of Love Oracle deck. What do you have to say to my Virgo singles? Fate. This is a destined partnership. You and I were too young. Interesting. So somebody, I, I hate using the past ones because I feel like everybody has a past person that comes back. And I usually like to do new people, but I can't help what the cards pulled out. So this is somebody that's from your past. I don't think you were in a relationship with this person. Is I'm not feeling that right now, but I could be wrong. So let's find out what's going on. Obviously somebody you knew when you were younger according to that card, but this is destined and this is fate according to these cards. So let's find out what's going on here. Who is this person coming towards my Virgo singles? Who is this person coming towards my Virgo singles? The world. Five of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Interesting. So Zodiac signs I see. I see Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. Remember, please concentrate more on the energy of the cards. I only bring up Zodiac signs because you guys like me to do so. That could be in their sun movies or rising. Now, right off the bat here, somebody's ready to start a new cycle here with you, Virgo. Because obviously this is somebody from your past, from when you were younger. It doesn't mean that you were like kids or anything or teenagers, although that could mean that, or it could just mean meant that you were young adults and you hadn't quite found yourself at that point in time. But I see this person cycling back towards you, Virgo, because right now they're feeling out in the cold. Not by you necessarily. They just feel like I'm, I'm tired of like not being with Virgo. I'm ready to come towards Virgo and I'm just, they're ready to come out from the cold. They want to come towards you, Virgo. I'm going to get some more clarification here. But I'm going to tell you right now, this person, Virgo, they don't know what to do. They're in their head a lot about you, and they're unsure. This is the card of somebody who's not sure what to do, even though the answer is right in front of them, and there's no sense of real danger. Let's go ahead and get some clarification. I'm going to get some clarification on the Five of Pentacles and also the Eight of Swords. The hangman they don't know what to do they're just kind of basically hanging around doing nothing they're scared this is this this matches this card where you're hanging around and you're doing nothing you're just watching you're observing that's also pisces energy by the way the lovers they love you this is a soulmate connection. That's also Gemini energy there, Virgo. This is somebody who really loves you and they feel like they could be with you. They want to be with you. But they're not making a move. Yeah, they are so burdened by their passion and their emotion towards you. It's, it's really weighing heavy on their heart. Virgo, I'm just going to tell you right now, whoever this person is, they are going to contact you via the internet. They're not going to contact you face to face. They're, you might get a sudden friend request or something or a follower from one of your social medias. I see that with the source energy. I don't see them coming towards you directly. It's more, they do it, they're doing it more to protect themselves. They're scared. 
even though this card is telling me there's nothing to be afraid of, I think you would be very open to this person, Virgo. So this is somebody you're not seeing on a daily basis. This is not somebody that you're connecting with on a regular basis. This is somebody who is thinking about you, who wants to start a new cycle about, about with you. They And when this part, this card right here is telling me that they are watching you on their internet. They're looking at your socials. They're seeing something and they're and they're watching you. They're observing you. They're not making any quiet moves. They're like, man, this person, I love this person. Why didn't we get together when we were younger? Why didn't we develop? I think this person's like, I'm done. I'm like, I'm tired of going through certain other people. This is the person for me. Virgo is the person for me. They feel like this is fate. And actually, this really could be fate because I don't see any negative cards. The only negative cards I see is this person and their feelings and them feeling hurt and feeling, basically feeling empty without you. Their, their emotions and their passions for you is so strong, it's literally weighing them down, Virgo. I'm going to get one more card. The devil. All right. So that's Capricorn energy. Now, a lot of people see the devil card and they think, oh, gosh, toxic energy. No, 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 no. That's not what that means. The only thing that's toxic here is this person holding it all in and them doing it to themselves. This right here is very similar to this card. This is love, intimate companionship, intimate and love compatibility. This is sexual compatibility. So they do desire you sexually, by the way. They do have a strong attraction to you in that sense. I believe this is also part of the burden. They really want to be intimate with you, but don't think it's just an intimate thing, Virgo, because they do have love for you here. But I guarantee you, the moment you give them the green light, the first thing they're going to want to do is take you to bed, not because they don't love you. They do, but their passions and their feelings for you are so overwhelming, they're not going to be able to contain themselves. So the moment you give them that green light, it's on, all right? It's on. Um, again, this is somebody from your past, somebody that you knew when you were younger, somebody who's going to reach out with you via via the internet because they're not going to do it face to face. You don't see this person on a regular basis. You do know them. They have a connection to you. They feel like this. If they reach out to you, get a set of new friend requests, or you've gotten one recently, Virgo, this is the person who's eyeing you, who wants to do something with you, have a relationship with you, all right? They feel like this is fate. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and then we're going to move on to my lovely Virgo couples. All right, my lovely Virgo couples. This is going to be your June 2024 love reading. I have already pre-shuffled up with the cards, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and pull a card that's based on the hidden truth of your relationship. Now, couples are boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend, engaged couples, or married couples. So this is all type of couples relationships here. What is the hidden truth for my Virgo couples? Oh, that one flipped up. I know that I crossed the line with you. Interesting. Message of love oracle card. What do you got to tell my Virgo couples? Healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Okay, so that doesn't necessarily mean that your childhood wounds are coming up and hurting your relationship. I always tell people, please don't take the cards literally in that literal sense. But there is obviously something that one of you have been affected by in the past that's resurfacing in your relationship and it's affecting your relationship. It could be in the recent past or maybe in your childhood like the card says. Now, somebody crossed the line here. So we're going to find out what this is. chariot okay this is fast moving energy you could be with the cancer that could be their sun moving or so rising again focus more on the energy of the cars not the zodiac signs all right high priestess king of wands all right so somebody here is keeping secrets 
know if it's you or them, Virgo. So somebody here is keeping secrets. I need to know what the secret is about. Now, this King of Wands energy, that's uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I tend to find that more with Leo, though, because kings to me are fixed energy. Uh, we do have the High Priestess here that could be Pisces or Sagittarius. I do see Cancer with a Chariot. So you have two major Arcanas, and we have a Court card. Let's go ahead and break down the Chariot and then break down the High Priestess. I need to know what the secret is because obviously it's affecting, it's affecting you and this relationship. High Priestess doesn't also mean secrets. It could also mean somebody who's psychic or has intuition. So maybe there's something intuitively that you're feeling, Virgo, or maybe this person's feeling. So let's go, let's go ahead and hear. All right. Page of Swords. Let's clarify the Chariot. Three of Swords. All right. I'm just going to be honest here with the chariot and the page of swords clarifying the chariot. Somebody here was doing something that they shouldn't have been doing more than likely online. Maybe you or your partner found somebody online, was flirting with them, was chatting on them. And this was a quick flirtation too, because this is somebody who takes charge and does quick movement. Someone who takes action. Um, so somebody here met, um, is talking to somebody online or was talking to somebody. And I believe you or your partner found out and it broke their heart. All right. Now, how does that relate to this card, healing childhood issues? This, I'm telling you right now, who's ever doing this online cheating or tried to do it, this is not the first time they've done it. This is something that's ingrained in them and it's something that they have to move on by themselves. They're not going to be able to do that with their partner. They have to be able to fix it for themselves. And that's why this card popped up. And that's why it says, I know I crossed the line with you. The King of Wands is somebody who's really full of passionate energy that wants to release. So if one of you has a lower sexual drive compared to their partner, that's probably the reason why this king of wands wanted to do this now there's no justification for that i'm not justifying their behavior i'm just saying that's the reasoning all right now this person has a very high drive and maybe they're not feeling like they're getting quite enough where they're at and this is what happened now what is the outcome of this what is the outcome for my virgo couples hold on Many cards fell, so I'm not taking all those. You guys know I don't take more than two cards. The hangman. Okay, so I don't see any movement here. I don't see this relationship ending, but I don't see it progressing. So right now it's at a stagnant energy, and I'm gonna leave it at that. So right now it's stagnant because I'm, I'm, I have a feeling that's where I need to leave it for now. Now we're going to move on to my Virgo. It's complicated reading. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back. All right. This is for my Virgos that are in a it's complicated relationship. Now it's complicated mean you guys are talking, but you're not really sure if you're going to move forward. If you're flirtation, like, like flirtating, flirtating, flirtatious stage or in a situationship. Or maybe you're already sort of dating, but you're trying to see if this is going to move anywhere. So it's complicated. It could be any of those situations or anywhere in between. We're going to start off with a Hidden Truth deck. I already pre-shuffled the cards. However, I'm going to mix them again in front of you. And then we're going to pull a card based on the It's Complicated theme. Way too many cards. I'm not taking all those cards. You guys know I don't take that many. <laughs> well, if it's two or less, I do. Or one to two, I should say. That's more politically correct. I left when I saw you with someone. Uh-oh. I left when I saw you with someone. Mm -hmm. Mastery. You have learned the spiritual lesson. Interesting here. It's already starting off as a juicy, it's complicated reading. All right. All right, we have the two of wands. That is the grass is greener or I want more than what I have card. 
At least that's how I view it a lot. Star card. King of Wands. All right, so Zodiac signs I see. Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Please concentrate more on the energy of the cards, though. I only say the Zodiac signs because you guys like to hear them. That could be in their Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Now, somebody here already had everything they could possibly want. A great relationship, a good home, stability. However, they're looking beyond in the horizon like, mm, I still want more, though. So somebody here was greedy. Somebody here was selfish. Somebody saw somebody very alluring and attractive and couldn't resist. This could be you or this could be them. Remember, take the energies how they resonate. All right. King of Pentacles. That could be you, Virgo. It could be you being the one being a little greedy here. Oh, yeah. Strength card. Okay. Strength card is Leo here. So somebody here did not have enough willpower to resist somebody who was they found very sexually attractive and enticing and all the way around. So this person... This, this represents strength, willpower. All right. Now, remember, I don't read reversals. I used to, but I don't anymore. I don't read reversal. So this tells me that a will, willpower here was being tested. And somebody just could not resist. All right. I'm going to say it's you, Virgo, because I see the King of Pentacles here. However, it might be the other person. Now, again, I see Leo with the Strength card. Um, King of Pentacles could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Now, here with the King of Wands. This is somebody who has high sexual energy. Someone who's very passionate. Somebody who knows and has mastered the art of seduction and flirtation and knows their worth and used it to their advantage. Now, is this complicated relationship going to go anywhere? Based on those first two cards, I pulled mastery and I left when you saw someone. Yeah, King of Swords. This person has turned, turned cold towards you. The King of Swords is somebody who is using their mind. Their intelligence, they are not emotional. They pretty much cut off their emotions here. So whoever did the deceiving, whoever the one who's being greedy, they're being cut off. The King of Swords is somebody who's the furthest thing from emotion. They are not ruled by their emotions at all. They're like, mm -mm, I'm cutting off this connection. So if you were hoping this was going to turn into something Virgo, it's not. Or the cross watcher, if you're kind of hoping that this is going to happen, it's not. Because they're not going to be second choice they're not going to be a placeholder to fulfill some type of need or desire or they're not going to be an itch to be scratched basically all right so virgo i hope this resonated with you and i hope it uh gave you some clarity that you needed please like share and subscribe if it did now i'm going to be moving on to the mini read virgo versus all ever all other zodiac signs one moment all right, Virgo, here we are, the mini reads. Virgo's dealing with an Aries. Virgo's dealing, oh, there's one. All right, just being near you is intoxicating. Okay, so Aries has a very strong sexual attraction towards you, Virgo. How does Taurus feel about Virgo? How does Taurus feel about Virgo? I'm afraid to contact you. So this is somebody who feels like they messed up with you and they need to, uh, they want to be near you, but they're afraid of what you'll say to them, Virgo. How does Gemini feel about Virgo? How does Gemini feel about Virgo? I know I messed up everything. So the Gemini is feeling like they lost you, that they don't have an opportunity with you. How does Cancer feel about Virgo? How does Cancer feel about Virgo? I bury myself and work to forget you. So they're trying to move on from you, Virgo. They're doing their best to distract themselves with you from you. Oh, that was Leo, by the way. So how does Leo feel about Virgo? Let's find out. I left before you could leave me. Now that does sound like typical Leo. If Leo feels like you're pulling away from them, they're going to leave you first. 
Virgo dealing with another Virgo. How does Virgo feel about another Virgo? It was my fault, but I blamed you. Interesting. So there was obviously a connection between you and another Virgo. Something happened that made it might have made them look bad. So instead of taking accountability, they blamed you for it. But I'm telling you right now, they regret it. Like, I'm not gonna take that because I didn't ask the question. Now, how does <laughs> how does Libra feel about Virgo? Oh, that one wants to flip out. How does Libra feel about Virgo? I left before you could leave me. That's also Libra is similar to Leo in that way. If they feel like you're going to leave them and they'll leave you. So obviously you did something to make them feel like they weren't worth your time. So just they went ahead and backed away. How does Scorpio feel about Virgo? How does Scorpio feel about Virgo? I wish I could share my good news with you. So there's just somebody who's missing the connection that they had with you. Scorpio is missing the connection. I, I think there was at one point in time you and Scorpio would talk on a regular basis. And I think you're at a point where you're at no contact or there's some type of animosity going on between you. But they miss you. They miss you, Virgo. How does Sagittarius feel about Virgo? How does Sagittarius feel about Virgo? My life is not as together as it seems. All right. So right now, Sagittarius is putting their best show in front of you. They're trying to present themselves in a way that makes them look good in front of you. But that's not who they really are. They're afraid to be themselves with you, Virgo, because they're afraid that you'll judge them. How does Capricorn feel about Virgo? How does Capricorn feel about Virgo? Just being near you is intoxicating. They are sexually attracted to you, Virgo. The Capricorn is sexually attracted to you. How does Aquarius feel about Virgo? How does Aquarius feel about Virgo? I want to feel that way again. So there's a type of feeling that you're bringing to Aquarius, whether that's a romantic feeling, a sexual feeling, a friendship feeling, whatever that positive feeling that you gave Aquarius, they want to feel that way again. You make them feel good, Virgo. How does Pisces feel about Virgo? How does Pisces feel about Virgo? Another one, I left you before you left me. Virgo, you're breaking a lot of hearts. These um, Pisces obviously left you because they felt like you were pulling away as well. So there's something about your, like, like I think you're giving off the energy, Virgo, with these signs that, you know what, I'm not going to settle for less. I'm going to slowly back away. And some of these signs are recognizing that you are going to back away. So instead of being mature, they, they're leaving before you can leave them. All right, my beautiful Virgos. I hope you guys enjoyed your June 2024 love reading. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next month.